if the allowable tensile stress for wires AB and AC is equal to 180 megapascal and wire AB has a diameter of 5 mm and AC has a diameter of 6 mm, determine the radius force P that can be applied to the gene. Okay, so here's the free body diagram for here's the figure and here's my free body diagram for it. So you have F A B to the left, F A C to the right, and the force P pull pull it out. This angle is forty five degrees, and over here you have the ratio of three four five. Okay, so first of all, you need to uh, determine what you need to look what you need to look for. So you have to find the maximum force P. So that it yield the allow the allowable normal stress of one point. Uh, 180 megapascal okay so first of all what I did was I took the summation about x-axis so this force and this force can be broken down into xy components so for this force the x component is negative um, FBC times psi 45 which is negative uh, which is square root of 2 over 2 so why I have square root of 2 over 2 here uh, let me explain so rock this down into xy component okay so this form a triangle and you have the trigonometry right here so the angle x and uh, y and x so x direction you have uh, 40 fpc times psi 45 and psi 45 is equal to cosine 45 and also equal to square root of 2 over 2 okay so so I have a FPC times psi 45 which is square root of 2 over 2 and it's to the point it's pointing to the left so I have negative psi plus for this one you uh, uh, you can also break it down into x and y component and since we have the ratio over here so we cannot use psi of cosine of the angle so for the x direction you have FAC times 3 over 5, set that equal 0, and then you figure out the equation of square root of 2 over 2 FPC equals 3 over 5 FAC, or I can solve for FAB equals 3 square root of 2 over 7P. Okay. No, 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 you cannot do this one at this point. So just ignore this first. So you have this equation, okay? Forget about this. And keep in mind that you have this equation, this equality. Alright, now let's do the summation about y. So uh, I have FAB times cosine 45, which is root 2 over 2, plus 4 over 5 times FAC minus P, because we have the force P down wall here, equals 0, and solve for. Okay, so you have this expression, right? Of this equation now from equation one which what I set up here square root of 2 over 2 FAB equals 3 over 5 FAC so I can replace square root of 2 over 2 FAB by 3 over 5 FAC okay so I have 3 over 5 FAC plus 4 over 5 FAC equals P so you just add P both sides then I found out that FAC equals 5 over 7 P okay since I know FAC, I can use this to plug back in here. So which gives me FAB equals 3 square root of 2 over 7P, okay? Alright, now we both have FAB and FAC expressed in terms of under the unknown P. Now, the normal stress at A is equal to normal force at uh, normal stress AB equals normal force AB divided by the area AB. So FAB I have, I found out that it was uh, 3 square root of 2 over 7P divided by the area which is pi over 4 times 5 squared and that equals the allowable normal stress of 180 megapascal which also can be expressed in terms of Newton per meter squared. Then I found out that P equals 5831.3 newtons for uh, when you have the force FBC equal this now do again for F for FAC so for FAC same thing force divided by area in FAC is 5 over 7p divided by the area which is pi over 4 times 6 squared okay 
equals 180 newton per meter squared you found out that p equals 7125 newtons all right now let's compare so you have for fbc so for fac you have force of 5800 newtons in for fac you have 7000 newtons so the maximum force p can be applied to this a system is equal to the minimum force of P which is 5831.3 newtons why because when when P reach this force the maximum normal stress in F a B is 180 and it's reached the allowable normal stress so if you apply so if initially you have rate of force P then the allowable sh normal stress will be rated than 180 and there's no way it can reach uh, this force because the system already failed okay so hope that makes sense that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time